Some news breaking just out of California now as it relates to the RNC with Ronna McDaniel officially pulling off a win in just the last couple of minutes to keep her job as RNC chair and continue leading the party apparatus next year in a secret ballot that just wrapped up. McDaniel was able to fend off a challenge from Harmeet Dillon, who got a last minute semi endorsement from Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and the potential, of course, presidential candidate. My Pillow CEO Mike Lindell was also going for the job. Uh, by our count, he got four votes. I want to bring in NBC's Vaughn Hilliard, who is in Dana Point, California, where that RNC meeting is happening. NBC News senior national politics reporter John Allen is with us as well. A handy victory for Ronna McDaniel, Vaughn. Something like 111 people voted for her out of the 167 casting ballots. Talk through how that plays into the future of the party uh, in the next cycle. Right. This is going to be her fourth term. And one of Ronna McDaniel's greatest pitches here to the RNC body was the fact that they were able to raise and spend nearly $400 million in just the last two years alone. Of course, a great deal of the criticism was the fact that all it got them was a narrow majority in the U.S. House of Representatives here. But what she was able to do was effectively push back against what was this insurgency around Harmy Dillon. And when we're talking about the candidates who were involved in this race, how each of them were allies of Donald Trump. But when you're talking about Harmy Dillon, the challenger who was able to cobble together about one third of the vote, this is where, you know, some of the grassroots here in this Republican Party that is even to the right, you could say, of where MAGA is at, where they go from here. You know, there was a radio personality who was standing to, next to me or right before, a conservative radio personality, right before the announcement was made. And he said, if Rana wins, he goes, fundraising is going to dry up. And there was a great deal of frustration, the fact that that $400 million was not able to pick up a greater margins of victory. But what you heard from the likes of Charlie Kirk, who is an ally of Harmeet Dillon here, Carrie Lake, who was here in California as a surrogate for Harmeet Dillon, was not the fact that the messaging was the issue, but it was a matter of how the resources were spent here. And so the question here is, does the Republican Party under Ronna McDaniel over the next year, two years, are they able to stick together here? Or is there going to be some of these outside factors? Factions that look to galvanize uh, uh, wings of the Republican Party and try to boost them. That is why Ron DeSantis yesterday separating himself by essentially endorsing Harmeet Dillon was notable because he is trying to effectively potentially appeal to a certain wing of the Republican Party, which has shown a willingness to go out in primaries, which is why you saw over the course of 2022 in those key primaries around the country, the more, uh, the further to the right candidates pull off. General election, you know, all that plays out come in November election. But in the primaries, that is where the Republican base is so key. Now, the question is, do they stick and do they have Ronald McDaniels back and the RNC's back going forward?